Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to um, my stitch along. Um, today we're not gonna stitch along. Uh, no, today I'm not gonna stitch once upon a fairy tale, which I have been doing when I've done my uh, st stitch alongs. But today I feel like stitching the um, mythical creature uh, cell 2020 by Pain Free Crafts. Go check that cell out because it's just awesome. And today they released the letter D. So the mythical creature uh, stitch along is an alphabet and every letter uh, is released every second week and every letter is um, a um, a mythical creature of course yes so um, and if you're wondering uh, about the needle minder it's a needle minder I bought from Rachel Ray on Etsy um, I will actually cut a new piece of thread to make it longer because I'm stitching uh, two over two and if I can I always start with the loop method uh, at the front of the fabric so and I've chosen uh, the color with the most stitches in with the most stitches and there's according to <clears throat> my digital pattern here which I have on my uh, surf thingy it's like an iPad, but it's not an iPad. Uh, oh yeah, and now I'm, I mean, seriously? Oh, I see that the battery is like finished on the camera. So I'll be right back. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so I got a knot on my thread here. Um, is it straight? Doesn't feel straight. Oh yeah, that's all I can do. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. I want to get closer to my fabric here. Anyway, <clears throat> I sorted out that knot. Um, so I'm starting with a little bit the, in the front and the color with the most stitches according to the pattern is a 907 so and I hope all everything sound and you know everything's gonna work out today But if it doesn't, if the, you know, the focus is playing around and everything, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really trying. Anyway, I put a needle here uh, after I've checked. Uh, there's always uh, a picture coming along with the pattern where to place the letter. And you have to figure that out. And this is the part of the, the frame work around. Um, but I think I need to zoom out even more. Yeah, so this is where I'm gonna start. So. Let's see, one, two. I'm like. My forehead is on the camera. So, a loop start.
and you can railroad these threads to get them to lay flat and nice. So I have three partial stitches and that I'm stitching with one thread over one. Um, bum bum bum. I think I'm gonna do like this. Uh, I'm using the pattern keeper, which I enjoy a lot. But if I can zoom in, uh, junk. I don't know if this is gonna work. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying the pattern keeper, keeper, the pattern keeper a lot, but, 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 um, The pattern, uh, the PDF pattern, on the stitch along here, I don't know why it doesn't like it at all. And that's very, very sad. So if like the color I'm stitching now, when I do a search on that, it doesn't choose all of them and um, and all of the partial stitches you can't mark them off as, as well so you have to be on your toes and check the pattern properly So tiny. But it, it's it's just that this um, stitch along I've noticed that the pattern keeper ugh, the pattern keeper can't figure out uh, the right mm, the right um, what you call it markings in the pattern that's too bad so where's the focus is on my hand right yeah so let's then we have four So, what have you guys been up to? Are you diamond painters, cross stitchers? Tell me. So let's see, I have another, let's do the other, and then I have some partials again. Like that, and I can mark off a few. And I do that one as well. So 
have a partial here. Now I need to pick the one with the longest strand. some partials. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if there's something interesting to tell you guys about. Um, I um Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit the mic microphone. I think I don't know if it's just one. Let's just do one. So there was a parents meeting at my daughter's school the other day. Uh, it seems like things are settling. The kids are, you know, learning the rules, the discipline rules. Um, And uh, yeah, there were some complaints about the school food, you know, in Sweden, the, the children get uh, dinner in school, or it's called lunch, of course, but it's a hot meal. Uh, and um, yeah, there were some complaints about that. Uh, more that they don't get to eat enough so they're full that's not okay of course uh, but mina uh, my daughter hasn't said anything about that actually um, but she does complain about that she finds hair in the food and that's just gross so but i didn't know that at the time we were at the parents meeting she told me afterwards so what else oh yeah and they have houses in her school and she's in Badger as I told you guys about that before and her house won the winter semester they got the most points. Um, so Friday, all Badgers uh, from fourth grade to eighth grade uh, got a bowling as a prize. So everyone went to bowl for an hour. So they had a really good time together. So that was really nice. Uh, they have houses to encourage the kids to work hard in school and then they get rewards when they're doing something good. But th this coming week she's having uh, time off from school. We call it the February holiday. Uh, I think it's more or less meant to be that kids are supposed to you know, go skiing or go skating and do activities. It's also called the sports holiday. So there's a lot of um, companies that 
offer the kids uh, free trials, you know, in all kinds of sports. And uh, before she always went um, shooting, she likes to shoot with a, not with a gun, but with a rifle. We're not allowed to have weapons in Sweden, but in competition, you're allowed to have, uh, have these weapons. So, but now she, no, she just wants to stay home and, and sleep, so. Um, no, eight, four. Did I finish all? I don't think I finished all. Yeah, and this coming weekend, uh, we're going to my sister's place and we're going to play this uh, Exit the Game. Oh, we love the games. We sit for hours. It's uh, a very, uh, very fun. So if you haven't tried those games, uh, try them out. Uh, I know the games are English. Uh, so we're lucky that they have translated some of them to Swedish. We should try to get so it's not auto focusing. Would be nice if it just stayed focused there. And when I stick in my hand, He wouldn't, you know, refocus on my hand. So let me mark off those. Let's see, where am I? I'm over at that end. Yeah. I can hear the kids outside. And they're not nice to each other. It's a horrible world we're living in. like totally blank. Uh, I made a floss tube episode 8 today uh, where I'm showing you all the new fabric, all the new, <laughs> the three new pieces of fabric and I show you some of my progress. Um, I've been kn not knitting, I've been crocheting quite a bit so I'm kind of getting into that but um, my plan is absolutely not to stop uh, with cross stitching, of course. But I will just, uh, yeah, you know, keep going with uh, with what I'm, with what I feel like doing, you know. Oh, there were only three. There's a partial here. Let's pull it up. So I can see I've recorded for seven minutes, 17 minutes. Uh, it's this, I'm using the real camera to film. Um, maybe that was a bad choice. I 
I can't believe that parents actually, I mean, if I can hear the kids, the parents should be able to hear them as well. I, 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 I don't understand how they can just let kids use that tone to your friends. I, I don't, I don't I have a very hard time understanding that. I'm so blank. I, I haven't done much. I've stitched quite, made quite a, quite a progress on Mirabilia. I, it goes faster than I think, you know. Um, I get, I don't know, overwhelmed with all that green. Um, seven. But, uh, yeah, I get kind of bored when it's the same over and over and over. So I kind of, yeah, stop and then I do something else. And then I get back to it. Four. Five. My God, I'm, I can't think when I listen to those kids out there. I'm sure you can hear them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, and then I need to go up there. Okay. Jump one. And I have two and two partials. Okay. So this is the dragon's face I'm stitching on now. And should I? Yeah, let's do that. It's always hard to know when you're doing partial stitches, if it's, um, just one quarter or if the partial is three quarters. And then I guess I should be looking at, you know, uh, the other, like the picture of uh, the finished uh, pad, uh, uh, the finished letter. And then you can kind of tell if it's one quarter or three, but then I need to jump in and out of the pattern keeper, keeper, yeah, in and out of the app. And I find that a little bit annoying. So most of the time I'm just guessing. It was upwards.
let's restart the camera. Yes, let's keep on. Da -da -da -da. I'm down there. And I pull them out at the wrong. I had to close the window. I'm just turning it around to pull out the threads. But they're making so much noise, I can still hear them, you know. Yes. What's what's going on here? Jesus. I will just... I can't see anything. Let's... Get you down here. This is the back side. I'm just going to end it. Just going to do like that. Get my scissors. And not this coming week, but the week after, we're going to one of those uh, afternoon tea parties again. Yeah, there we go. Mm. Let's just keep it that way. And let's bring in the nice little llama i love that needle minder i was like camping rachel's <laughs> etsy shop when i knew she was releasing uh, those needle minders i'm a patron of her so she told us um like some time before, so we knew that they were coming. So I was like, camping, camp, camping. That's what you gotta do if you want something. All right. Yeah. And my little thingy that's holding my pattern here is slowly sinking. What happened now? So now I'm going to start there. I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. But I should go downwards. I'm going to go that way around. Let's do that. One, two, three, and that's there. And I'm starting again with a loop on the front. Whoops. Not always good to have the needles binders too close. hear that there are some grown-up out there oh talking about people behaving or kids you all know that we switched schools for my daughter because of bullying and stuff and it's been fine but the other month one of the girls mothers and her new boyfriend bought the apartment across ours so we kind of live in the same freaking staircase stair in the same stairs whatever yeah we live in a in an apartment building i'm like f f words And then we're like, well, you know, just ignore her or just say, 
high and that's fine then just ignore and yesterday i mean they've been living living here for just a few weeks and yesterday at 9 30 in the evening her friends and i'm quite sure that the boys were the guys who were also bullying her in her class they i guess came here to go pick her up and they decide to bang on our door but they didn't expect that me, me and my husband we were just standing inside the door because we were going out with the dogs So my husband opened the door right away and started, you know, yelling, what the fuck are you guys doing? And they got kind of scared and ran outside. But then they stopped just outside. And then my husband ran after. Then those little coward bastards ran off like scared little mice. So we took our dogs went for a walk, walked around the neighborhood, looking out, trying to find those kids, mainly to find out who exactly it was, so we could contact their parents, or like me, call the cops and make a file of complaint or for har harassment or something. Uh, but we didn't find any of them, so we know that they were living close by. And then, all of a sudden, we saw the girl who lives, you know, across the hall from us. And she was walking over there, and she was yelling at someone. And then I told my husband, well, there, there she is. She was yelling at those kids, maybe, that they're coming, you know. So I said, let's follow her and see. But she disappeared, so I, I said there, they live in one of these stairs. And we found out that her friend lives where this go girl lived before. And my daughter told us because she knows who they are. So that made it obvious that they disappeared into that stair because it's, it was just close to where she disappeared but you know you feel so desperate you feel so powerless you feel so sad and angry that when you make a choice to get away from that shit you make a choice and it's a big choice it's a big change to switch school And without us choosing it, we have that bullshit in our lives again. And I'm like, I don't understand why she can't just be left alone. She's not in their class anymore. She's not in their lives anymore. So yeah. And they have parents who doesn't care a shit. So it makes me angry. They're like 12 turning 13. And they were out running at 9.30? 10 in the evening? And I'm like, aren't those kids supposed to go home and go to bed?
Yeah. Frustrating. But yeah, I my goal is to finish this little dragon by the weekend. So then I have a week after that where I don't have the cell to think about. I think and the Harry Potter cell is like being released in a couple of weeks, I think. <clears throat> so then maybe I could uh, keep stitching a little bit on, on Mirabilia because once I finished the, the dark green, I can start with the red laces in her dress, I think, and I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I don't have to finish the green now, I can just stop the green and go, you know, over to the red and start that. Uh, but it's kind of nice to to get most of that green done. Let's see. I'm going to mark off this. And then I have another one up like so. Yeah, I just, I enjoy, you know, the knitting and the crocheting and the cross stitching and everything. But my heart is really screaming to go out and start camping. I seriously want to do that a lot more. And I want a hammock with a tarp. <laughs> I need to save my money. I can't go buy all this nice expensive yarn when I want a hammock and a tarp. I want to learn how to do a fire. Let's see. Uh, yeah, those. So I'm going to mark off these. Dum, dum, dum. And that llama is getting stuck. It's getting stuck, not stick. It's not always easy to speak another language. So let's go all the way over there. And then I need to do a few more. Should I go all the way? No, I'm gonna go down. And then I'm gonna do four to the left. That's three and four, and then I'm going to calculate the gap between there to see that I'm not totally off. So that's two, and there is two in the pattern. Then I'm going down one, and I'm going to go five, six to the right. Stitching one over one. On 25 count is so much nicer. I don't really love stitching with two threads because it gets the uneven look and if you want neat stitches you need to you know 
lay them straight and railway and whatever, you know. It takes a longer time to stitch. So that's six. Come here. So that was six. I'm going to mark them off. And that's four up there. So then I'm going one up and to the left and stitching four. Let's see. I'm on 16 minutes. See the batteries are good. Um, I can hear that the thread is like going heavy on, on the fabric. So that is like tearing the thread every time you pull it through the fabric. Um, so here I should have used a, the, a bigger size needle. I think I'm using 28. So I should have chosen a 26 and it wouldn't be so hard on my thread. And why didn't I go get a 26 needle you say maybe? Well I'm lazy. I had some 28 sitting on my llama and that's what I used. Let's see and I'm gonna do a partial on the left so I'm just guessing that it is a three quarter stitch. And then I should go bum, 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 and up like so. I know I have the camera right in my face, but then I can see the viewfinder. Um, so I'm a little bit aware of what, am I, I, what I'm recording. Yes, it is annoying to re-thread re -thread the needle each time I'm going to do a partial. But since I can't mark the partials off on the PDF here, I want to do all the partials as I go. So I should have gone one more to the left. Like that. Yes. Correct. And then I should go all the way over to the other greens. I just got an idea. Maybe Maybe I should try to park, use the parking method on letter A, B, C, D, E. So E is the next. That would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? And then I can show you how I park. But then again, I'm not gritting the fabric, but then I could use, I could just grit out just the small piece. Yeah. I will, I will try to remember that actually, because then it's like such a small piece and maybe it's even more fun to stitch it. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. That's, that's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I like parking. I do. I really do. But I don't think it's the fastest way for me to stitch. 
so mark them off like so and I can see I'm 20 minutes into this part of the camera so I'm just gonna you know part of this part of the video I am going to finish this one I love my lolly stand I love it it's so versatile is that how you call it you can use it in many ways so I'm just running the thread underneath like so no more messing around with the ends shop, shop it off shop shop whoops there we go and let's pull you up now I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so that's all I stitched in this short little time and I'm gonna use my new coffee mug take me as I am or kiss my ass, eat shit, and step on a Lego. I just love it. Anyway, <clears throat> I am going to bid you all adieu. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Uh, when we hit 500, it's giveaway time. Um, Yes, and thank you for coming on, along on my little stitch along with the Mythical Creatures Sal 2020 by Pain Free Crafts. Go check that out. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>